we're going to wait three more minutes for the rest of the um, students who are in the Hare Krishna Nitya Kishori Mantiji. So good to see you. Hare Krishna Mataji, then with Pranam. Nice to see you. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the breakout rooms so that everybody can join back, all the students, and then we can start. All right, so everyone's here. If you can please show your cameras, um, all of the NOI students and a few parents have joined us. And I wanted to first welcome His Grace Nithyananda Prabhu. He is the um, Zonal GBC representative for South North America, Southern part of North America. And he is our Dallas Temple president. And we're really lucky that he's here with us because this is the first Nectar of Instruction course that we had offered. And we have both groups here, both classes here together with us. And so we wanted to kind of like have a graduation, even though it's only been six weeks, because we've been spending so much time with all of the kids. And they've done so much work on Flipgrid. So I wanted to share with the parents all of the work that they've been doing and then have them speak a little bit as well about what they learned. So um, students, I'm going to be requesting if you can also um, you had done a little bit of a self-reflection you had a chance to do it so if you i'm going to be asking all of you to speak if you don't want to speak then just send me a message privately that you're not up for it but if you just want to share one thing that you had learned and before we have him we share we would like to hear from nithyan and the prabhu can you all see him see i'm going to pin his video so that you can all see so Hare Krishna, nithyan and the prabhu, i requested so last minute i really appreciate you coming on to give your blessings to the youth that have been doing this um, session. Thank you. So should I speak now? I think? Yes, you can speak now yes. or you can speak afterwards. It's up to you. Okay. I mean, uh, I'm happy to speak afterwards as well. So you can go ahead and then I'll speak afterwards. Okay. I think that might be better. Yeah. All right. So let's do that. Okay. So first I'm going to show everybody the um, incredible amount of work that your children have been doing. I'm going to share the screen. And those of you who had completed the interactive notebooks, you're probably already aware of what they were doing. And so here's um, the screen. And if any time you have any questions or comments, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask. Um, here we have the first class, um, NOIY, this was the Tuesday's class. And they did a total of 21 topics, 219 videos, if you see, on these topics. And for every single video, they had little, little videos of a response that they would give to the question that we asked. And so the whole idea was that we would ask a discussion question and they would have to give a response to it, which means that the children are practicing giving Bhagavatam class. And I urge you, if your parents, to go and take a look at these videos. A lot of their thoughts that they shared, like here's a video on Niyamagraha, following rules and regulations for the sake of following it or not following it for the sake of spiritual advancement. Um, I mean, not like rejecting them instead. And here you see all the students have done their thoughts on this and their videos, video responses. And so that was the first group. And the second group on the Thursday's class, they did or is the Thursday's class, they did 332 videos completely. And for example, here's a enthusiasm patience prompt where we asked them to share what items do they have enthusiasm in and what items require more enthusiasm as well as patience. And here you can see all of their videos here. And what's interesting is not only did they share videos, but they also shared responses to each other's videos. For example, here is Seisha's. Um, Seisha Mahadevan's video and in here she has a response from Anmol and so we wanted them to have uh, practice with 
with um, discussion, discussing Krishna conscious topics, not just sharing their thoughts, but also discussing and responding with each other. And so I'm really proud of them. And then a few of the students who are taking the certificate course went ahead and did um, interactive notebooks. And so we'll just share uh, one example. And they did their final projects this week. And this was a really nice final project. I'm just sharing Brinda Kuller's final project. And this is her vision board, her brainstorming notes, and then her vision board. And so in her vision board, she put together everything that she learned the past in the self-awareness module and shared that. So that's your kids and how Krishna conscious they are. And I had such a good time, such an amazing time associating with them and watching their videos. So I wanted to say thank you. Now I'd like the kids to start. Um, I'm just going to call out on whoever is here. Uh, take one minute to share what you learned and what you feel you will implement either gradually or right away. And um, try not to, Hi, Krishna, Vinda Kuller's mommy is here. What's your name, Mataji? Yeah. Sorry, you're muted. Hare Krishna Mataji, my name is Neetu. Neetu Mataji, nice to meet you, thank you. All right, so let's um, go ahead and start. Let's start with A first, so let's do Asara. Um, so do I share one thing that I like learned that I wanna use in yeah. my, like every, um, I wanna use uh, the proactive and reactive one the most. I think it's a really, it's not only in Krishna consciousness, but like in material life, it really helps you control and be tolerant of maybe like people that are around you or things that you may get annoyed of. And I think it's really good to start by controlling your anger and your tongue. Okay, thank you. Arjun Patel? Uh, I would also use the, um, what, uh, what's it called? Uh, the proactive versus reactive language, just because it's good to have it and use it in like everyday life. Okay, thank you. Ambrish? Uh, I use the circle of influence because, uh, like the circle of control, because it helps me like figure out what I can actually control and what I need to worry about. All right, excellent, Abhi. Um, I think something that I would implement would be uh, like how you can offer food even in certain circumstances, such as if you're busy or you're going on vacation. There's still a way you can fit that into your schedule. To offer your prashad, your food, wonderful. Amulya? So I learned about a variety of topics, and there's some that I'm going to include like in my everyday life, like proactive and reactive choices. And then long term, I'm probably going to use Niyamagraha uh, for spiritual rules. Okay, and what, which, which definition of Niyamagraha? Uh, both, but the first one where using spiritual, following spiritual rules for the benefit of it. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Anmol? I would use the enthusiasm and patience one. Same. Enthusiasm and patience, okay. Thank you. Do you want to ex explain that a little more and maybe speak a little louder so we can hear you? Um, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would use that because it shows like that we should have patience for what we're enthusiastic for, and like you can relate that to like um, real life, so. Wonderful, thank you so much. Next is Gopisha. Yeah, actually I agree with Anmol on this. I was also gonna say that um, I wanna implement patience and enthusiasm in my bhakti. Okay, thank you. Now I'm a little bit running out of the ability to do the um, alphabetical on the spot. So I'm just going to say who I see. Let's do Rhea, um, Rhea Patel. What was the question again? Um, what would you implement in your, from your class? What did you learn that you really loved that you could use? Um, about the reactive and proactive steps. All right, thank you. Anything more you wanted to share? You had really long videos that you were sharing with a lot of thoughts. Any other thoughts? Um, no, I don't think so. All right. Ram, Kalyanapan? I think it would probably be this whole concern and influence. I feel like, you know, uh, learning how to from your 
if they print circles, I take it in life. Because uh, uh, those circles apply to a lot of the circles of can influence and control. Thank you, Sivret. Um, I would probably um, work on like Jana Sangha, how we talked about the different peer pressures, the different types of association, because that can help us like anywhere materially and spiritually in school, especially. Thank you, Vinda Girdhar. I think I would implement the four quadrants because it's an easy way to organize all of the things I have to do. The four quadrants, all right. Thank you, Seisha. I would personally implement intrinsic and extrinsic motivation so I can get more things to be intrinsically motivated, especially in terms of service. I can get my service to be more intrinsically motivated than extrinsically motivated. Wonderful, thank you. Manjri? Um, I would work on uh, reactive and proactive choices because like, I can work on that with like dealing with lo lots of people like in school and everything. And I also want to work on time management using the four quadrants. Thank you. Siddharth? Um, I, would, I would use Utahan Nishchit and the Hayriyat, um, confidence, um, enthusiasm, and patience to do every, everyday um, activities. All right, I love that. Thank you. Rinda? Cooler? I would use the circle of con concern and influence because like it's implemented in everyday life so you don't waste uh, your time worrying about things that you shouldn't be worrying about if it's not in your control. So you can focus Thank on you. things like spiritual things. Thank you. I like that. Koshiki? Um, I think I would mostly like want to use the four quadrants and try to be like in quadrature too because um, I like tend to procrastinate so that would be helpful. Excellent. I like that you shared about the four quadrants. Reina? I would use the circle of concern and influence and control because it makes situations less overwhelming when you know what you can control and you focus on that. Okay, thank you. Rohan? Uh, I would implement the reactive and proactive um, responses. Okay, I think I got everybody right. If I didn't yet, please just let me know. And I see Adigarangi Mantaji is here as well. Hare Krishna, thank you for joining. All right, so I'm so glad that all of you um, committed, made a commitment to what you're going to implement. And we did it with um, Nityananda Prabhu here so, and all, a lot of our parents, so we get their blessings. So now Nityananda Prabhu, please um, share, you know, what, whatever you'd like to, to share. Okay. Om Gyan, Pimirandasya, Gyan and Janushlaka, Pakshuram Yantam Yena, Tasme, Shri Guru Venama. Am I loud enough? Is this clear enough? Uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so when I first uh, came across the Hare Krishnas, uh, with this idea of Krishna consciousness, I totally rejected it. I felt that this is not something that will help me in my life. And I challenged my, who then became my spiritual master, that I'd prove him wrong. And to, to prove that Krishna consciousness works and is better than anything I knew, I was very successful as a businessman, very successful in civic life. I was an advisor to the prime minister of the country, uh, held very high positions in society like that. So I thought I knew it all. There's nothing that I could learn uh, from Krishna consciousness. So he actually gave me this book, Nectar of Instruction, as one of the key books for me to read. And I since realized that this Nectar of Instruction actually prepares us to become great leaders in this world because uh, a leader uh, is one who can train other leaders. And before you train other leaders, you have to be really good in your leadership. And the Nectar of Instruction actually trains us like that in every way. There is nothing actually that is outside the scope of the Nectar of Instruction uh, that you will find useful in this world that's out there and it wasn't in the Nectar of Instruction. Everything is there in the Nectar of Instruction. It's one of the thinnest books we have in our movement, and yet it, is, it packs a very powerful punch. So I'm very proud that all of you at this very young age, what's the age range now in terms of uh, uh, youngest? Uh, 12 to 16. 12 to 16. So there you go. 
So, you know, you're very fortunate. Most of us uh, started this uh, program much, much older in, in our lives. I was 30 years of old and I was considered reasonably young as well by that, that time, by the way. So uh, I, I started at 30. So all of you have started anywhere between 14 to 18 years before I did. And with an open mind, I started with a closed mind. And yet I've seen how much progress I've made because of the nectar of instruction. So I congratulate all of you for doing nectar of instruction. Uh, apply it in your lives. You will see that it does work very well. Talk to one another about your experiences because as you talk to one another with your experiences, uh, the best of the best comes out. The best practices, what worked for somebody, didn't work for somebody, why it worked, why it didn't work. And of course, uh, the teacher who is the spiritual master, actually the guru, uh, who actually taught you this in a way that now you've all become very smart at learning about Krishna consciousness, which by the way, is the single most powerful thing in this world for us to become truly happy in our lives, not just this lifetime, but for all of our future lifetimes as well. Hopefully all of them will be in the spiritual world and not here. So you're all very bright eyed. I can see that you're very intelligent. Right now you're a little shy to speak. I'm sure in your hearts, you have a lot more that you'd like to say, but you know, you've said whatever you thought was good enough for you to respond to the teacher. And uh, uh, I pray to Shri Radha Kalachanji and all of our deities and all of the deities in ISKCON and all of the devotees in ISKCON that they bless you unlimitedly and that you all have amazingly uh, great lives into the future. And just build a community like this, talk to one another. Uh, the most successful things in this world start with just two people. And uh, generally we're now starting a program that's gonna talk about this. And by the way, those two people are Krishna and you. <laughs> you and Krishna, that's all you need to get everything successful in this world. What to speak of, more people joining in and making it even better and better and better. Then you will be unstoppable. There's nothing you will not be able to do in this world. There's everything you will be able to do. Again, congratulations and Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Nityananda Prabhu. So can we all unmute? This is something I really love doing is doing the fireworks clap for Nityananda Prabhu. Shy. We show our active participation. Thank you. So it's now five o'clock. So technically the class is done, but I'd love to hear from um, parents if parents want to say anything or share anything. I see Ishwari Radha Mataji is with us as well. Hare Krishna. So glad that you guys have come. And kids as well. So before we log off uh, and speak some more, I just want to say that for module two, the registration information is up. Um, we're getting a two week break. Please take um, a number one, put up number one if your school has ended yet, put up number two if you're still in school. Okay, a few of you are still in school. It's really, really important that when school's out, because school has been stressful, that you take a complete break from any educational stuff, okay? Take your mind and just let it rest and look at your quadrants that you did and your lists of stuff, find things that you enjoy doing, very important. And so we're taking two weeks off before module two and the registration is all there on the NOI main course page. So at this point, any parents want to speak anything, we have both groups here, both classes, please feel free. Hare Krishna Mataji, please accept my humble obeisance. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Mataji. I was really amazed when I saw this information that at this young age, you are teaching this wonderful uh, scripture, natural instruction. Thank you so much. I think it, it, because all these kids, they are so fortunate that they have started in the movement of Srila Prabhupada so early. And uh, I don't think anybody else is doing this, this kind of education here. So all gratitude to you, all glory to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Mataji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Um, Sivrat shared how much you're doing in your home as far as leading the Bhakti Riksha groups um, every single week, and you're actively preaching and leading. And I was really very lucky to be a part of his association as well. You've trained him very, really well. And I actually wanted to say that to all the parents that are here, you are like really your children are gems. Like the tidbits that they've been sharing, it's it's so incredible to see how much work you've all been doing. So thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you much. Hare Krishna, Gopi Gita Mataji, Dhanad Pranam, Nikhilanda Prabhu, Dhanad Pranam, all the Rishya Prabhupada. Thank you so much for guiding our children. I mean, this for me, it's like uh, very precious because we didn't get this when we were little, you know? 
and to see that they take the time, even though they may fight here and there, but they still take time to go on this and then interact and do their homework. I was very surprised and shocked, you know? So I'm kind of glad they're continuing doing this. Wonderful, Mataji. I, I just, um, I've only met you for the first time right now. I think I might have met you in passing here and there, but Niti Kishori was speaking about you and how you come here regularly to Radha College in Hidam because your family lives here. And both of us were talking and there was another devotee as well. We were like, she should just move here already. So we're thinking yes. of you. <laughs> I pray that someday I do get a chance to move into a community full of devotees like you guys over there. Thank you um, so much, Mataji. Thank you. All right. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Go ahead. Hare Krishna, Lavanya Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna, uh, Nityananda Prabhuji. Uh, thank you so much for your kind words uh, uh, towards these kids. And uh, I really feel happy how Siddharth um, uh, did all this work and uh, how he studied this nectar of instruction along with your guidance. Uh, I was really surprised to seeing his interactive notebook and uh, how you uh, made him do all these videos and come out of these uh, points, what he was thinking. And um, it's very, uh, very much a new thing for us. And um, we didn't know that Siddharth can do all these things. We are also surprised. Um, thank you so much, <laughs> Mataji. <laughs> very nice, uh, Mataji. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lavani. Mataji Siddharth's very intelligent, very bright, very ex extemporaneous, very extroverted. He's going to be a great preacher. Thank you so much, Mataji. Thank you so much, Mataji. Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Mataji. Thank you so much, Mataji, for conducting this class. Uh, I, I just want to say my girls have very much enjoyed it. I know in the beginning, uh, Reina was very interested in joining and Seisha was hesitant, but I saw such a big difference in Seisha as soon as class was uh, over, the, always looking for the Flipgrid and, and your assignments being posted and watching everyone's videos. They really enjoyed it. They learned so much. And uh, I'm fortunate that Sajan, that you gave an opportunity for the younger ones to even have a class because he's very much enjoying your Prahlad course as well. So I just want to say thank you for taking this time to engage our youth in a wonderful association and the instruction of um, in the nectar of instruction under your guidance. So thank you so much, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Adi Grangi Mataji. And I, I hope and I pray that you guys are doing okay. And I, I know you had something happen this weekend. And so I, I appreciate you even still taking the time to come on here. And please give us your blessings with your blessings and Nitikishori Mataji's blessings we get Radha Kunji Bihari. So we're really lucky to have your kids association. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. All right. So we can end the session. I think. Um, I just wanted to say thank you very much to you as well, Gopinita uh, Prabhu, for uh, all you're doing. This is so wonderful. This is revolutionary. And I think these are the steps we want to take to having a formal system where, you know, the education that we provide our children is so powerful that they have much better opportunities than we did in our lives because they're well prepared compared to how much we're prepared in our lives. So this next module is what subject is the next module? Um, the nectar of instruction still. I've broken each three verses into six weeks so that we can delve okay. into the, the more the leadership qualities that are there. So, so um, the, it'll, it'll be the next three, three verses and we'll be, this module was on self-awareness. The next module will be on connecting to others. So we'll be discussing um, social groups and how the nectar of instruction divides the different levels of peers as well as empathic communication, how to speak and how to relate to others and different things in the next six weeks. And then uh, for new students who want to come in, they will start again with the new first model when you're ready again to start with the first module, right? Yes, yeah, so module one is starting up. Um, we have already, registration is closing uh, Friday. So tomorrow, okay. registration is closing on that Friday. That's the last module one I'll have for this year. Then they'll start okay. again next summer. So if any of you know other students who want to join, we have a class that's uh, almost full. So they can register right away for module one, and then they can take module two um, during the year. Um, I did also want to end with a recognition of Raju, Raju Kishore Prabhuji, yes. who was um, in all of the breakout sessions, did a lot of the grading, did a lot of the responses, and who was an integral part of the facilitator team. Thank you 
um, he, you know, does this as volunteer service out of his busy days. So I appreciate his service. Thank you so very much, Rajiv Shorkum. Did you want to say something, Rajiv? Uh, I guess if I were to say something, it would be that I was very impressed with the breakout rooms. Um, everyone always had like a good answer um, that delved deeper and stuff like that. All righty. Okay, so go ahead and sign up and I will grade your tests and give them back to you and we will see you all in two weeks. And if I don't see you in two weeks, then hopefully we'll stay in touch in other ways. Okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, guys. Hi, Krishna Mataji. This is Tungavidya. Hi, Krishna Tungavidya Mataji. This is Surat's mom and Bhavya's mom, Mataji. Yes, Bhavya, that's right. Bhavya has been pretty active too. We just had our class with her this evening, so this afternoon. Sure, Mataji. So, Mataji, she's also interested in this uh, NOI course. So, can she register for that? How old is she? she she'll be turning 12 in October. Oh, I have a pretty solid cutoff date right now. Um, okay. But I think that was because I had too many participants. She's going to be 12. Yeah, in October, nice. yes. Uh, can I, let me think about it mm -hmm. and get back to you? Yeah, because, she, because um, she's yeah, mm -hmm. she's very much interested because when she's seeing Subrat working on the thing, so so let me yes. let me know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me let me get back to you on that. Um, I I hadn't made the exception for others, so I worry if I make the exception now, it might be a problem. <laughs> sure, sure, <laughs> Mataji. No Maybe like, why are you making now? So let me get back to you on that. No problem. Yeah, sure, no. Mataji, no problem. Thank you, Mataji. Thank Hare you. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Bo. Hi, Krishna. Hi.